Together we win. What do we want? What do we want it? Now. What do we want? What do we want it? Now. I'd like to welcome you as we take a stand this week in solidarity with our fellow frontline Red Cross heroes across the nation, demanding that the Red Cross provide us with the fair contract that we deserve. Respect us, protect us, pay us. Negotiations have been stalled. Here in our society, our wages and benefits are directly proportional to the well-being of our society. For the individual, for the care of the family, those are all dependent on what the employer offers as far as wages and benefits. So all we are asking for is fair wages and fair benefits so that we can live dignified lives with self-respect and be able to care for our families. My primary center is right here behind us. And this is the site that never sleeps. If other centers are closed, this site remains open. Because of short staffing, many of us are cross-trained to handle multiple duties, but that's still not enough to overcome how much of demand is required of us. Yes, we're frontline heroes, but doesn't mean that we're superhuman. There's only so much that we can do in a 24 hour day. I feel sad that it's come to this, where despite all of our efforts, all of our sacrifices that we made, the American Red Cross is still refusing to be transparent with us and bargain in good faith. Every time they've asked us to step up, to work overtime, to stay late, to come on in on our days off, taking time from our families, we roll our sleeves up when we do. Now it's time for them to step up. But where are they? We cannot wait any longer. Because of the low wages, more and more staff are leaving Red Cross and they are not being replaced. There is a revolving door of staff here where half of the staff has arrived in just the last six months. This is unsustainable and could have serious consequences for maintaining the blood supply in this country. That is why this week Red Cross employees across the country are rallying in support of a fair contract that will attract employees and keep good workers in order to protect and maintain this country's blood supply. Questions for the Red Cross are, if we didn't have these workers in place, then how are people going to give blood? If you don't have qualified individuals who are attentive to providing a safe environment, how do you expect people to feel comfortable to come donate blood? If you don't provide people with a salary that's comparable to the dedication that they have, how do you expect them to retain them? As a donor, I want to know that the people who are drawing my blood are well taken care of because when employees are well cared for, they pass that level of care on to their clients. My coworkers and I are committed to continue to do all we can for the communities and general public we serve, and that's what keeps us motivated in coming in day after day. However, we will exercise our worker rights to stand together to send a message to the powers that be that we have a voice that needs to be heard now. We demand at the American Red Cross to do more to improve workplace conditions and ensure the public safety. We've had enough of our work being disrespected, and we're ready to take things to the next level if necessary. Just as working people all over the country have been striking for what they deserve, we will too. We stand united. We are the pulse of the American Red Cross. We are the pulse of the American Red Cross. We are the pulse of the American Red Cross.